Good afternoon, welcome back to my channel. I have a very important announcement to make. Tomorrow I'm going to travel back to China for the first time in almost 10 years time. I'm very excited and the main purpose of my travel is some friends, some family members, they're building an art school in China, uh, teaching adolescents, uh, kids and perhaps young adults, performing arts and um, instruments and also visual arts. And they want my advice to start this project so perhaps I will join them but the first thing I will do is go back and check out what is going on in China. I heard that things are all different after 10 years and China now is a very important economy. Things uh, happen very fast. So I told my friends here and some artist friends here about my trip and they were more excited than me and they were like oh my god you're going back to China you have to bring my art back and you know perhaps hook me up with a gallery there hook me up with some collectors I want to sell my art in China I don't even know where to start of course I would love to help but there's a problem is the short version of my answer is I cannot because people in China cannot see your art. If your website, your social media are outside of China, for example, if you have Tumblr, you have Instagram, you have Facebook, you have YouTube, and you have a website that is yourart.com, .co.uk, you know, whatever that is not .cn, probably, let's say 99.9999% chance that we cannot see your content within the territory of People's Republic of China. And perhaps you have heard about the Great Firewall of China. That is the reason that people in China cannot see the content that is produced and hosted outside of China. And obviously you have heard about the Great Wall of China. And the Great Firewall is the digital Great Wall that is blocking all the content. And the filter is really, really rigid. You cannot, there's not really any way to go around. And the only way for your content to show up in China, to, for the people to see your art, is that you must have a server within China. And to have a server in China sounds easy. You can just, you know, buy. There is the uh, Amazon uh, web service in China and you, know, you have uh, Alibaba cloud service and you can easily rent a hosting space. And that sounds easy. Once you buy the server, they will block you immediately and they will say, hey, please show me the pass, the certificate. If you don't have the certificate, you can't still host your website in China. And this certificate is called ICP license. ICP stands for Internet Content Provider. So you need to have this particular license in order to run a website in China. In order to obtain the ICP license in China, you need to be a company registered in mainland China with over a hundred thousand or a hundred something thousand dollars that is actually a one million RMB uh, as a starting capital if you don't have a company with such a, a large amount of capital uh, unfortunately you cannot have the ICP license and this license is just for a regional perhaps provincial business if you don't want to run a like eBay art of China imagine you want to sell your art online to all over the country then you need to be a company with starting capital over 10 million RMB. That's 10 times the original requirement to run a national-wide business. Not so many Chinese companies in China could obtain such national-wide license. So it's not something normal to do. Uh, there's a good news though. If you say, okay, I don't want to have e-commerce. I just want to simply show my art on my own personal website in China. You can still do that. All you need is ICP failing and failing is a little easier but you do need if i'm not wrong correct me if i'm wrong you do need to be a citizen of china registered and you do have to feel fulfill certain kind of paperwork as well and perhaps you ask are there any way possible for me to show my art in china to contact some galleries some collectors in china the good news yes you can you just have to contact them well wechat which is the chinese version of whatsapp 
it is the largest social media in China today. It's very similar to Facebook. You can send messages, publish content such as videos and uh, JPEGs, you know, just pictures. If you activate your bank account there, it's called WeChat Wallet. You can even charge your clients money. And there are many possibilities what you can do to promote your art on WeChat, but it's not that easy because in many sense, it is like WhatsApp. You do need their number in order to add them and contact them. So if you don't know anybody in China, you have never been to China, you don't speak the language, you have no idea how to start, it's almost impossible. And perhaps during the time I'm traveling in China, I'm going to make more videos on how to promote and sell your art in China and what is going on in the Chinese art world, especially the contemporary art world. Obviously, because of the Great Firewall of China, I don't have a regular access to YouTube, to Instagram, and I will try to do my best and perhaps find certain ways to work around. And if you have any questions, leave me a message below and I will get back to you when I have the access to the World Wide Web. Okay, that's it for today and see you in the next video.